okay good morning we'll start uh, our derivations again uh, i would uh, i would like all of you to listen very carefully and do the derivations along with me so that it will be just an easy task for you because we will be uh, we'll be adhering to the same procedure for all the waveforms i am speaking about deriving the values of average value and rms value of different waveforms i want to finish off it today and also find out the form factor and peak factor okay so uh, in the last class we were uh, we derived the form factor i mean we derived the uh, average value as well as rms value of a uh, uh, sine wave sinusoidal wave and uh, we also found out the form factor and the peak factor which is uh, what i have written here i hope you can see this uh, can you see this mukil can you see this uh, whiteboard mukil you see here anyone yes ma'am yes ma okay yes. yeah ma okay so uh, i have written this i want all of you to prepare a table like this where rough fight pattern vary type of waveform average value rms value form factor peak factor in the last class we derived it for a sinusoidal wave 2 im by pi or 2 vm by pi then im by root 2 or vm by root 2 or sometimes you write it as em by root 2 voltage also form factor is 1.11 Peak factor is one point four one four. I'll give you just one sec or uh, five seconds to complete this. You didn't take your scale or a pencil or anything. Just draw it uh, roughly. Okay. Now. we will start with another waveform let me take a we will consider a uh, you know half wave rectified wave half wave rectified ac okay Second, which means the waveform will be the output of a half wave rectifier. As you know from the half wave rectifier, let me consider I here, or small v, whatever be the case, and theta here. Okay, in the half wave rectified wave, the wave will have this shape. This, that is from zero to pi. Then from pi to two pi, you don't have a wave. Then again, it starts only from two pi, two pi to three pi. There will be a waveform like this. So the, this will this will be V I M. Okay. So it is different. You don't have a negative half cycle. So I want. I am going to find out the at first. I am going to find out the average value. Average value. how i'll go a bit slow here when for all the other waveforms i'll be going little more faster so for average value i want to find out the area under area of the curve so here since it is a unsymmetrical waveform because from 0 to pi you have a wave from pi to 2 pi you don't have a wave so i have to consider the entire full cycle from 0 to 2 pi the complete a this complete full cycle i have to consider to find out the area of the curve otherwise i will be wrongly finding out the full wave or, or the the sine wave itself so i will consider the area of the curve from 0 to 2 pi which means i will be considering integral 0 to 2 pi i d theta okay now i know that from pi to 2 pi it is zero but from zero to pi i my uh, my equation is small i is equal to im sin theta here it is zero or i will write this as integral zero to pi im sin theta d theta plus 
integral pi to 2 pi 0 d theta, which means I can do away with this part. So I'll get integral 0 to pi i m sin theta that I can write as i m 0 to pi sin theta d theta, which will be equal to i m into minus cos theta from the between the interval 0 to pi, which I'll get as how much will I get? 2 i m. This is the area only. Now the average value will be area under the curve by base length. So that is 2 i m by what is the base length? Base length is how much is the base length? 0 to pi. 0 to 2 pi. So my base length will be 2 i m by 2 pi or the average value here is i m. I hope this is clear. Any doubt, please ask me now. Any doubt at all, please ask me now. I'm pausing for you. I hope it is clear. The average value is i m, sorry, i m by pi. i m by pi. Hope this is clear. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Oh, so I am going to fill my column over there. I will write this as average value as you can also fill up the column I am by pi. Okay. Now I am going to find out the RMS value of the halfway rectified wave. Now when it comes to RMS value, Okay, when it comes to RMS value, I have to consider the area of the area of squared waveform. I needn't draw the squared wave, but area I should say it is from, again I have to take the full cycle because I don't want to lose the information or rather consider the information from pi to 2 pi though it is 0. So integral 0 to 2 pi i squared d theta that will be equal to integral 0 to pi only this equation i have to write i m squared sine squared theta d theta plus i know it is 0 because from zero from pi to 2 pi it's 0 so i need to consider this this is equal to i m squared integral 0 to pi sine square theta I can always write as 1 minus cos, the, cos 2 theta by 2 d theta or that will become equal to I m squared by 2 theta minus sine 2 theta by 2 between the limit 0 to pi which I will uh, finally get as I m squared by 2 into pi. Now, I RMS, always people go wrong here. All of you should listen this step very carefully. I RMS is equal to square root of this divided by the base length within the square root itself, which means I M squared into pi by 2 divided by base length again I have considered from this point to this point so 2 pi which you will get as I m by 2 after taking the square root this is I m squared but this 2 pi is also goes off so you will get I sorry this 2 and this 2 are coming together it will become 4 this 2 and this 2 doesn't get cancelled off. They will come together. Sorry. I m squared pi by 2 into 2 pi will become. So this pi and pi will go. I m squared by 4 and you will get the answer I m by 2. So my halfway rectified wave 
the average value I have found out, the RMS value now I have found out as IM by 2. So when I find the form factor, form factor is IRMS, form factor is RMS value by average value. That is IM by 2 by IM by pi, you will get as pi by 2. Because IM and IM gets cancelled. What is the peak factor? Peak factor is peak value by, by RMS value. Peak value is no, you, you know it is IM by RMS value is IM by 2 or its value is 2. Okay. Now we will go to full wave rectified wave. I hope you are understanding. At any point in time, if you find it uh, difficult to understand, please, I want all of you to just tell, uh, any one of you to just interfere and tell me. Now I'm going to uh, full wave rectified wave. Full wave rectified. Okay, third wave. So that wave will look like this. From a full, the output of a full wave rectifier will be like this. Um, this I am writing it as theta. So my waveform I have from 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. The waveform will be like this. You have every cycle going. Okay, there is it, the difference is, is that from pi to 2 pi also there is a wave and but then it is a symmetrical waveform symmetrical trickle okay so you need to consider only one half cycle because the other half cycle is repeating even though it is in the positive side positive side so when you find out the average value now i am again going on to find out the average value average value to find out the average value, what is the first step? To find out the area under the curve. Area under the curve. Now, in our case, which is the area under the curve, you need to consider only the half cycle, one half cycle. In the previous case, we had to consider one, one full cycle because otherwise there would be a misunderstanding that if I take only from 0 to pi, then from pi to 2 pi also, I would understand that there is this wave itself. But whereas in the halfway rectified case, you had only a zero there. So here I need to consider only one half cycle need to be considered. So integral i d theta, that is I'm taking a, a small strip as I had to, as told you in the previous class, i d theta from zero to pi. That is, I know here the equation for i is, i is equal to i m sine theta. So integral 0 to pi i m sine theta d theta and that will be equal to as you have already known it will be equal to 2 i m. Check if you are not sure. Then average value would be average value is this area by base length. Send it area is 2 im base length you have taken only pi so it is 2 im by pi okay so let me go there and fill up the column full wave full wave rectified it is 2 im by pi now you can see that for a sine wave as well as for a full wave rectified wave it is the same. Naturally, you can safely assume and I want all of you to check. I am not going to do it here, derive it here. Otherwise, I will uh, I'll not be able to tell you about triangular wave, which is a little bit more difficult, different. So, you, I, this is left to you. RMS value would also be the same, isn't it? Because the, the derivation is on the similar kind. Because you are taking only from 0 to pi. And whatever equation is written inside the integral is the same for both sine wave as well, for, as well as for full wave rectified wave. So, I am by root 2. Again, form factor will be the same. 
form factor will also be the same 1.11 and 1.414 okay so that is the case don't get don't be surprised to get the same value for sine wave as well as full wave rectified they are the same then going back to another kind of wave which is the triangular wave i don't know if i am going very fast tell me if i am going fast is it okay someone to reply please is it okay yes okay. ma'am okay now the fourth wave that we are looking into is a triangular wave triangular wave form okay so let me draw the triangular wave form t i normally these kinds of wave forms can come because they are trying to check whether you have understood well or not okay so triangular wave form is one uh, wave form which you have to be very uh, you have to try yourself before you go for the examination i am trying to find out the one uh, easiest thing that i have already done it here let me see or we can go to okay so for triangular wave form um yeah uh, let me take his book this is the triangular wave form that i'm talking about let me draw this here should when you draw you should draw it correctly 0 pi 2 pi now all of you should listen when i when i see the triangular wave form i can see that there is i what i want to find out is the uh, area under the curve isn't it under the curve or area under the squared curve whatever it is i can see that this part is symmetrical to this part is again symmetrical to this part is again symmetrical to this part so what i will do now is to consider only one fourth of a cycle this much only where i know this is pi by 2 because in my case i want an equation for i the instantaneous value i i want an equation only then area under the curve can be found out through an integral or else i can find out the whole area of the triangle but that is not the way in which i am going to do area under the curve area under the curve for one quarter cycle one one fourth of the cycle okay that will be integral 0 to pi by 2 okay i d theta and i'll be considering a strip here i d theta now how will i find an equation here tell me how will i find an equation here i just want an equation for line alle right? that is y is equal to mx plus c is the general equation now c i don't have i just says y is equal to mx what is y y is i y axis is i x is sorry theta theta okay what is the slope here slope is y axis by x axis what is this value this i know is im so this will be this will be uh, y axis by x axis im by pi by 2 or you get 2 im by pi so integral 0 to pi by 2 2 im by pi d theta you can you can even do this derivation in terms of v m okay i want all of you to do this i hope you have understood how i have written this 2 em by pi how i have written it hope you have understood so 
2 i m by pi by 2 into theta. Okay, this theta is also 2 i m by pi. Is that that 2 i m pi by 2? Okay. Am I right? Have you just checked? Please check whether I have written it correctly. Yeah, go back to the yes. It's this V M theta by pi by two. Okay. Pi by two. Okay. So that is two I M by pi. Theta means theta squared by two in return the interval P is zero to pi by two. All of you should do yourself and check whether whatever I am doing is correct. Okay. So that what is the average value that you are getting? Please tell me. Please do this and tell me. What is the map? What is the area that you are getting? I am pi by 4. Are you all getting this value? Okay. Then, is that, is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then, so my equation was I am theta by pi by 2. Okay. Now, uh, now the average value will be average value will be this area by base length. Area I know is I m pi by four divided by base length is only up to zero to pi by two by pi by two, so that you will end up with I m by two. I m by two. So I'll fill up this. For triangular wave, I will be getting I m by 2. I m by 2. Now the RMS value. RMS value. Triangular wave. RMS value. Okay, the same triangular wave. I want to find out the area under the curve or of which curve area under the squared curve. Squared curve. Okay, that is integral 0 to pi by 2 itself i squared d theta. That is integral 0 to pi by 2. My equation was what? i is equal to i m theta by pi. So I m squared theta squared by pi squared d theta or I m squared by pi squared. I have theta cubed by 3 between the limit 0 to pi by 2. That you will get as I m squared into pi by 6. Check whether you're getting this. Now the RMS value. RMS value will be RMS value. Yes, you, you should be very careful here. Square root of area by base length is within the square root. So our area I got is a i m squared pi by 6 divided by base length I know is pi by 2. Finally, I get r and then I, when I take the square root, I get it as or within the square root, I'll get it as vm squared by 3 or sorry, I'm not, I had written it here. Sorry. Within the square root, I'll get it as i m squared by 3. And finally, RMS value will be I m by root 3. I m by root 3. So in the triangular wave, I will get here as I, am, I know I am rushing. 
I will get this as I m by root three. Now they left the others. You are you have to find out. Just tell me what is the form factor here? Someone number ten. Number ten is present or what? Number ten. Yes, ma'am. Can you calculate and tell me what is the form factor? Root three by two. Root three by two. What is that value? Root three by two. How much is that value? Someone please calculate. Uh, and peak factor number fifteen. Can you find out? I m by I m by root three. What is that? Number fifteen. Number fifteen is present. Number twenty. Twenty percent down. Hello, ma'am. Ah, what is the peak factor? Peak value by R M S value. Peak value is I M. R M S value is I M by root three. What is the peak factor? Root three. Root three. Root three by two. Atra value. Anyone? Varsh. Someone is here. Point eight six six. Point eight six. Root three by two point eight six six है ना है ना मैम two by root three है two by root तीन जान तीन जान तीन जान ए two by root three है ना इटा two by root three इतना वाले नून नू पर आयो अन्ना ना उधर मैं I just wanted to tell you something अदर when I got the value it doesn't click in that way ना two by root three one point one five One point one five, correct. One point one five. That is the correct value. Now, what I wanted to tell you is form factor is a is a measure of the peakiness of the wave. Peakiness. What I mean is the peakiness. See, sine wave is having a form factor of one point one one only, whereas a triangular wave, as you know, is very peaky, very sharp. Is having a Form factor of one point one five, which is very much higher, which is greater than one point one one. So, form factor is a measure of the peakiness of the wave. Now, I am leaving these two waveforms as, as uh, not assignment as homework for you. This is very easy. Square wave, as you know, is having this kind of a uh, this zero to pi to pi. You can take any any method of finding out find out the area of the square. You need to find From pi by zero to pi by two, or from zero to pi. Any standard textbook will help you. Also, I have uploaded two textbooks for you. You can look into the square waveform, trapezoidal waveform. Uh, they will consider the trapezoidal waveform is like this, which can be considered as a combination of a of a triangular wave and a square or rectangular. When I write square wave, it is actually rectangular wave. Okay, any type of. So in tra trapezoid, you have a combination of a triangular wave as well as a rectangular wave. So that so if you can, uh, if you know how to find out the average value of a triangular wave and a rectangular wave, the tri trapezoidal wave is nothing, no, not much of a difference. So that is left to you. Okay, I hope you will do that. So that is the end of our uh, this. Uh, module, but before you go, I want you to do this problem also. I think I don't know. That is why I'm rushing. So all of you should do this problem also. I'll read out the question. This is from Francis Sir's book, page number I don't know. Let me see, page number forty-four, which I have uploaded. But I want to. I want all of you to do it now, so that I can explain a bit. Write down, please, for a two thirty volt. For a two thirty volt. Fifty hertz sine wave for a two thirty volt fifty hertz sine wave. Find out the instantaneous voltage. Find out the instantaneous voltage at one millisecond. One millisecond after the positive maximum value. After the positive Maximum value. Now they have asked you for the instantaneous voltage. Instantaneous voltage, as you know, 
is indicated as small i is equal to i m sin t sin omega t because they have put sin theta is the same as sin omega t because i need a calculation in seconds or time i have taken the equation as i is equal to i m sin omega t okay and then the waveform is already given they have shown uh, the textbook itself they have shown that the peak occurs peak occurs at 5 milliseconds okay you are asked to find out the instantaneous voltage and because it's a voltage that is asked let me write the equation for voltage v is equal to vm sin omega t okay because it's a sine wave now they have asked in the problem it is asked to find out the instantaneous voltage at 1 milliseconds after the positive maximum value positive maximum value occurs at 5 milliseconds or oh, and so which means i am asked to find out this value this instantaneous value at 6 milliseconds 1 millisecond after the positive maximum positive maximum means in the positive half cycle i have the positive maximum that is occurring at 5 milliseconds okay i am asked to find out that waveform it's given that is 5 milliseconds so i am asked to find out what is the instantaneous value at 6 milliseconds which means i am fixing this time as 6 milliseconds now the for a 230 volt sine wave when it is given as 230 volt any ammeter any voltmeter everything if if not specified i want all of you to listen to this if not specified separately if you are just given the value of an ac voltage it means that this voltage is an rms value whatever value you measure in an ammeter or a voltmeter etc or whatever value is given in a particular question without specifying whether it's a peak value or any any other value, average value or any other value if no such explanation is given automatically you should understand that it is the rms value that is given whereas what we want in this equation is not the rms value what do you want here we need the we need the uh, maximum value so how will you find out the maximum value we have now calculated that vm or vrms is equal to vm by rho2 that is from our ta table if you can just check the table you know that rms value of a sine wave is im by rho2 or if it's voltage that you're talking about it is vm by rho2 so coming back to our problem so uh, now i have to put vm here which means vm will be root 2 into vrms that is what is being done root 2 into vrms is root 2 into 230 that you will get as 325.27 volts i'll pause a little bit here please draw this figure and write up to this write up to this okay now write the instantaneous value of voltage can be represented by the instantaneous value of voltage can be represented by can be represented by small v is equal to vm sin omega t for a sinusoidal waveform small v is equal to vm sin omega t for a sinusoidal waveform in this problem in the given problem in the given problem 
Hence, small v is equal to 325.27 sin omega t. In the given problem, hence, small v is equal to 325.27 sin omega t. In the given waveform, in the given waveform, in the given waveform, it is seen that, it is seen that positive maximum occurs. The positive maximum occurs at time t is equal to 5 milliseconds. At time t, small t is equal to 5 milliseconds. Hence, we need to find out, hence, we need to find out the instantaneous value at, the instantaneous value at small t is equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 milliseconds. Small t is equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 milliseconds given by given by given by vm small v is equal to vm is how much 325.27 sin omega into 6 omega into 6 now what is omega Omega equal to 2 pi f. That is equal to, it's given that it is 50 hertz. That is 2 pi into 50. Now substitute everything. You will get this equation. That is 325.27 into sine of 2 pi into 50 into 0 0.006. Milliseconds means 0 0.006 or 6 into 10 raised to minus 3. So that you will get this. The order can, so you'll get 309.35 volts. I hope this problem is clear for you. If you have any doubt, please tell me. This problem in a nutshell explains to the whole concept of equation. So any AC uh, voltage can be represented in terms of its waveform or in terms of its equation or in terms of its RMS value or in terms of its average value. This is how AC voltages can be explained. Now, when one more thing that the author has very deliberately written is that if you are writing I is equal to IEM sine theta and doing any calculation anywhere, this theta should be taken in radians and not degree because omega T, T is time, omega is in radians per second. Okay, so don't go wrong there. It will be I am sine pi by 2, I am sine 2 pi, I am sine 3 pi, and so on and so forth. Okay, that is all for today. Any doubts regarding any of the discussions that we did in uh, this section? This With this, I am coming to the end of second module. Uh, tomorrow, I'll, I'll pass on to the third module. So anything that you have to, you have any clarifications, please feel free to ask me now.